Hello, and welcome to the Yonder Dynamics Systems Acceptance Review for the 2023 University Rover Challenge. Yonder Dynamics is a student-run engineering project team at UC San Diego, and we are excited to present Lethargy, our rover for the 2023 URC. Lethargy features a newly developed drivetrain, science module, and numerous other improvements which have enhanced our rover's preparedness for all four URC missions. After an extensive research process, we chose to implement a new differential bar-based rocker bogey suspension system on our rover. Our design of the rocker bogey is simple, light, and robust to a variety of loading conditions. Our rover body features a TIG welding construction and an electrical enclosure integrated into the chassis frame. This design ensures a low center of gravity for the rover and robustness throughout the differential bar linkage, allowing for easy traversal over rough terrain and steep inclines. Our rover features a 5-axis arm that is stable, strong, and has a large range of motion. The arm uses a differential wrist and a swappable 3D printed hand modules, allowing for a quick reconfiguration of the arm between missions. These features allow our arm to easily manipulate the wide variety of objects necessary for the extreme retrieval mission while maintaining the precision needed for equipment servicing tasks. To improve our rover's competency for the equipment servicing mission, we iterated upon our arm's control software. Operators can now seamlessly switch between control modes that best suit each individual task. Course movements can be performed using a closed loop, joint by joint control regime, while fine Cartesian motions can be performed by switching into the inverse kinematics mode. Our software also features motion profiling of the arm to automate common motions, such as stowing the arm during extended driving periods, as well as collecting and depositing soil in our science module. We have also developed an inverse kinematics model for a new delta type arm attachment, which will allow our rover to type on our keyboard or insert thumb drives even faster and more precisely. Our proven path planning and GPS system can guide the rover during the autonomous mission to within a 3 meter radius of provided GPS points, which are inputted and monitored through our web interface. Recently, we robustified the system by adding a stereo camera to detect obstacles and furnished a new algorithm to reroute on the fly. This feature, along with our redesigned chassis, enables us to consistently navigate to the provided GPS points, even in challenging conditions. Upon arrival at the GPS point, our rover is capable of searching for Aruco tags using our redesigned, elaborate state machine. Once found, the new sensor fusion technique locks onto the detected Aruco tag and tracks it over obstructions. Our newly designed electrical system has been consolidated using custom PCBs which manage power distribution, communication, and control of the ARM and science modules. We've also upgraded our emergency stop system to be fail-safe and even easier to activate in case of any problems. Our new compact driver station features an uninterruptible power supply that allows for a seamless transition between mains-powered and battery-powered operation. All the required antennas and electronics can be operated from inside a portable case which can quickly be set up into our long-range broadcast station. Our primary communications are through a high bandwidth 5.8 GHz system that can transmit multiple high-quality, low-latency video streams simultaneously at distances up to 1 km. We also utilize a backup 900 MHz LoRa system, which allows us to continue operating when line of sight is lost. During the science mission, each of the soil samples are collected twice using the science attachment for our hand. The first portion of soil for each sample is deposited into one of six sealable and easily removable containers of which we select one to provide to the judges following the mission. The second portion of soil is deposited into our science module, which can analyze six separate samples. After automatically measuring and depositing soil into four separate cuvettes on a rotating carousel, the cuvettes are individually stirred to mix the soil with reagents preloaded into each cuvette. The cuvettes can then be measured over the duration of the mission using our custom-built spectrometry system. Our detection head is based around a micro Raman design and uses a 532 nanometer laser diode for excitation and a microscope objective for collection. The collected light is fed into a CCD spectrometer through a multimode fiber, yielding spectra with a resolution of 5 inverse centimeters over a bandwidth from 600 to 4000 inverse centimeters, which is ideal for detecting indicators of extinct life such as kerogen and carotenoids. The same spectroscopic head can also be used for multiple other fluorescence and transmission spectroscopy measurements. Using a white LED, we are able to collect transmission spectra that can capture minute color changes in a preloaded pH indicator, yielding precise pH measurements for determining the habitability of the soil. We also preload fluorescent stains such as Nile Red and DAPI in separate cuvettes, which are excited by the 532 nanometer laser source and a separate 395 nanometer UV source, respectively. We have thoroughly characterized the sensitivity of our fluorometry system when used with these labels, and our on-rover system can detect concentrations as low as 3 micrograms of cell material and 100 milligrams of soil. Thank you for watching, and we hope to see you at the 2023 URC.